Okay, everybody, this is the new setup. As I showed in my last video, we have here two rotors. It's sort of a G flux, a steel bar. four coils. There are only two coils connected. These two coils are here to have the, so we have the cogging. It's a pretty strong cogging. I must probably, as you can see, there's a 12 volt DC motor here. We have the same thing on the other side. We have here, that's new, uh, they are energy meters. We have one here and one here. They show volt amps and watts. And uh, this battery here is the charge battery. This here is the run battery. This meter will only work work if uh, as soon as I switch the battery on, which is normal. Uh, what you see here is the pulse width modifier. Uh, yeah, modifier. Uh, the problem is it's always on a hundred percent because uh, otherwise the motor won't run, won't be able to move uh, this these four generators. Uh, the disc for these four generating coils. Now, okay, I think I'll just show you this run. We're just, I just want to see how much the two coils put out into the other battery and how much uh, the consumption is. So if I turn this on, the consumption goes up because it won't start by itself. Here you can see we're one point eight amps in here. The, bat the battery already went up at 14.8 volts. I'm putting in 310 milliamps. So I'll just let it run a little bit. I can certainly go down with the consumption by using the pulse width modifier. We're on the full scale here. I'm turning it down a little bit. Let's say we're at one amp, 115. Of course, we're generating much less. This is the output. Okay. You don't have to stop the vibration. Oops. To speed it up, you heard. It's because I disconnected by moving. I disconnected the There, now we're loading again. And we're here.
I'll still have to check the speed. I'm not quite sure. But, okay, that's the first run. There's lots of to do. And if I put in full power, just have another check. Okay, that's it. And the consumption went up to... That's it, folks.